New tonight, the family of a 14-year-old boy killed in a car crash is pleading for answers as Glendale police look for a vehicle they believe was also involved in the crash but drove away. Team 12's Audra and Aloya spoke to the boy's mother and joins us now with the details. His passion was basketball. Day or night, 14-year-old Julius Gonzalez working towards his dreams. He was always just trying to get better. He said, one day, I'm going to make it, Mom. I'm going to make it into the NBA watch. But that dream cut short. On May 25th, Julius killed in a car crash near 53rd and Grand Avenues in Glendale. We were going to boxing practice. Julius' 16-year-old brother, Julian, was driving. He says they were on their way to pick up a friend when a truck making a left turn hit them, even after he tried to avoid the impact. And that's all I remember. I turned to the right lane again, so there's like more distance between us. And then I thought we was okay. Everyone thought we were good. I was just seeing the road. And then that's when I woke up to uh, just me being trapped in the car, looking around, and I was stuck. After the impact, the car spun out of control and rolled over. Three teens were ejected and sent to the hospital. Two remained there with serious injuries. Julius died on scene. It hurt really bad because it was me and him. I was going to grow up with him. Julian says he wasn't racing. Glendale police say impairment was not a factor in the crash. I wish no parent ever has to go through this, losing a child. The family left heartbroken. <laughs> it's like taking a piece of you. <laughs> Remembering a boy they say was the life of a party. <laughs> who had just graduated Mountain Sky Junior High, where he played basketball. Funny, goofy. Someone who just had goals in his life. He loved his family and his friends. Investigators now looking for this truck. They say was involved in the crash and took off. It's a white lifted Chevy extended cab pickup with front end damage. They say it might have an American flag decal in the rear window. He was a good kid. He was loved by a lot of people. Touch your heart. Just do the right thing and come, come forward. Sad he has to go so soon. As a memorial grows here with Julia's died, the family is fundraising for funeral expenses. They have created a GoFundMe. You can find those details on 12news.com if you would like to donate. Adriana Loya, 12 News.